Through an initial movement on the alternator shaft, it begins to generate power. Holy crap, my hand. We left the blades exposed so you could see there are no hidden batteries. Well, as we said, with the battery drill, we rotate the alternator shaft at 1400 RPM. At that speed, our alternator generates 225 volts, which are injected into both sockets. The engine, in turn, draws power from one of the power outlets. Therefore, it immediately starts up and, through the drive belt, forces the alternator to continue spinning. And so the alternator continues injecting current into the power outlets, closing the loop. This is called an electromechanical feedback system, 